Hello and welcome my beautiful Libras. Brenda Tarot here with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of May the 1st to the 7th year 23. Okay, let's see what we have right off the bat with your download message for this week. You've got Face Your Fears. So I think you're stepping up into the power of who you truly are. You have an amazing, uh, strong reading here with three major kings and with two major queens. So you have a power couple of the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. And this is telling me you're stepping up into your power. You're not going to allow things to hold you back. You're not going to allow your fear to take the lead on your path this week. So I'm really glad that you're facing your fears, anything that you're doubting, anything that you haven't tried before, you're going to go right in, jumping in feet first. And I think you're going to have the power to handle that. Now, coming in next, you've got the message. This is good news often when this shows up. And uh, it could be in the form of anything like a telegram or it could be, uh, you know, to do with business, all forms of messages and communication and phone calls and texts and emails and letters and documents and all these kind of things. Um, but it also has a time span here because on it is seven and it represents seven days or a week something's going to happen like this. So you may be receiving within a seven day span or in seven days letters, texts, notes, memos, calls and so on. Now, I think you're going to be interacting with a lot of different people uh, right now um, or even just someone in the powers that be that are there uh, that are important. This is an important letter, okay, but it's good news. And so it could have to do with legal uh, issues where you could be having to sign documents and having to agree to things and receiving things that are great. So good messages coming in. Now, you've got thriving and we know what that means. That means you're going from, you know, you're, you're, you're going from uh, you know from being a survivor and not only are you a survivor but you're using the situation to thrive right you have a remarkable ability this week to step beyond any challenges and know that you're strong okay you you know other people might be attracted to you too uh, because of your strength this week you you know that that'll be your call if you want to be there for them to grasp onto you uh, with your strength but that's okay you're going you're moving through something here you're facing your fears you're going after things that you need to do you're you're being busy with communication and and all kinds of, of documents that you're going to be dealing with this week so interesting okay coming in in your first row could be past present future what's holding you back and or and what's propelling you forward into the future um, what to expect or beginning middle and end of the week whatever way you want to read this so you've got the ace of wands along with the queen of rods and this is about new opportunities coming in and you being able to face them this is wonderful this is taking action something new is going to come in it's going to be exciting and you're jumping into it you're not going to worry about your fears you're jumping into something here because you're courageous and you know this is what the queen of wands is she's lived through her her problems and her challenges and she's learned that and she's walked through the fire and she's come out the other side and she's brave you're stepping up and you're going to be able to see something here even though the picture shows her with her eyes closed you're going to be able to tap into your third eye and be able to see light at the end of the tunnel something new is coming up for you now or this could have been past tense, but I do see that you're moving forward in a direction here of being strong and being focused. And all those doubters, those people out there that were criticizing you or throwing in their opinions uh, that were doubting you, you're going to show them. That you're, what you're made of here. You're definitely not going to take anybody else's opinion on this. You're going after what you want. You're planning it too, because here comes the Knight of Pentacles along with the Queen of Cups. And this is, you're doing things for yourself now. I mean, you've been spreading yourself thin maybe for a while, doing everything for everyone else, your family, your friends, uh, who, whatever the case is. This Queen of Cups is very maternal. She's loving. She's helpful. She's caring. And she does those things. But there comes a time where you see her standing there. She's drinking from the chalice. She's breathing in and breathing out and taking time for her. She needs to rest up. So this is taking time here to make your plans as well. So you're doing things at your own pace. You could be making use of time management. You could be making out to-do lists that you're checking off and definitely taking your time, making a calculated plan here. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight. He doesn't rush in for the kill. He plans his move before he goes in. 
and that's why he succeeds so you're taking care of business here and that means you're taking care of yourself being brave going after what you want acting on it but being careful to plan it now in the center position which could be the energy you're feeling now or the middle of the week or future uh, or um future um you you've got the hermit and the hermit comes in with the knight of swords so you've been sitting around for a while meditating manifesting what you want and tapping into the right powers that be your mentors people like that that uh you wish to uh, connect with this is taking yourself to that place of solitude and silence right thinking about what you want just removing yourself from that chaotic pace of life uh you know your, it, your world might have been spinning and now it's time for you to plan your move and that's what the hermit does goes off on his own and he he does see the light he goes within and he's able to find out what he wants to do and with that comes in the knight of swords so once this is over once he's removed himself from from chaoticness he's going to be ready to hit the ground running because the knight of swords is fast moving action something comes in very quickly that you need to act on and it could be hearing about uh you know forms uh to be signed uh they could be tests exam results uh agreements to things anything like that you could be having to do uh but i want you to be careful again take your time don't rush in and sign just because you get the first offer if you're receiving something that looks appealing to you make sure you think about it carefully because again once you sign the ink hits the paper it's a done deal now what's holding you back let go of that fear. I mean, you're worried about material things here. Let it go because you've got the King of Pentacles and that's the Midas touch. You're going to land on your feet here coming up smelling like a rose. This is about stepping up into the power of who you are, but also leaning into those that can help you. Okay, this person's a good business person. This person, this could be your banker, your accountant. This could be somebody like that that you're going to want to connect with if you want some wisdom from this individual. However, it says that you're going to do everything right. It says that, you know, you've got these new opportunities coming in. You're planning them. You're taking care of business. You're being brave. And you've thought long and hard about something here this week or in the past that you want to see come to fruition. And it might have to do with your job, your business, money. And it's going to work out great. There's going to be new doors of opportunity opening up. So don't, don't allow yourself to get up in your head here. You could be worried about finances. You could be worried about money coming in. But I think you're going to get a good message here that will set your mind at ease okay you're you're going to go from lack and lack and loss to thriving so you know don't continue to worry because this particular kind of worry can bring on physical ailments as well so try to let go of the stress levels do things that are right for you right now pace yourself take your time okay now <clears throat> what's happening coming uh you know what what's propelling you forward your future you've got the king of wands and remember i talked about the king and the queen of wands this is pretty profound when the queen of wands and the king of wands appear okay in a reading it can indicate time of immense creativity and innovation it's a time to trust in your abilities and take bold steps to achieve your goals this combination is indicative of a period where you're at the top of your game so stay confident be full of enthusiasm okay it's time where everything seems to be in alignment and and i'll tell you success is within reach when these two show up coming together maybe of two leaders and two people with excellent leadership qualities it's a time for collaboration and working together towards common goals this could indicate successful partnership too uh, building a team maybe you know a team around you when it comes to your work but it's a time to take control of your life and pursue your dreams with every bit of your heart because you've got two of them two king of rods so you're going to be focused you got your head down you're going after what you want you're doing what's right for you this week things are going to work out and you're facing your fears you're not you're fearless this week this is a powerful reading my beautiful libras so going after what you want hearing good news um you know taking care of business you know doing what has to be done and you're really good at doing that anyway but libra this is really a powerful week where you're going to be very focused and go for your goals well i wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to and always know i stand in this circle of love and light for you and i'll see you soon libra